when i say non violent struggle which leader comes to your mind i need audience response which leader comes to your mind no one mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi another anyone nelson mandela yes mahatma gandhi nelson mandela martin luther king or some other fellow Madhuri. toast masters and distinguished guests back in 2008 I used to live in Old Town area, Khairada. The law and order situation of the city has been deteriorating with every passing day. The city of light slowly drowned into darkness, and the gang war and all this shit controlled our city. Although I was too young to understand the politics behind that gang war. but we all had a deep sense and fear around us days passed by and the influence of these gang war increased the businesses were forced to pay ransom social and religious activities were disrupted and the use of lethal weapons in our area became the new normal during all this an incident took place at the garment factory on 11 september 2012 the news shocked me the fire exploded at the garment factory and it continued to burn the factory for several hours burning the factory uh, costing the lives of hundreds of people what more shocked me was when investigation was carried out a well known political party was accused of burning the building and what's the motive gravely impacted the way i think about war and violence the political party through its terrorism wing demanded a huge ransom which factory owner refused to give subsequently the son of a labor who died in that incident tried to attack factory owner considering him responsible for that incident the police caught him and later handed him over to ngo fellow toastmasters and distinguished guests we all agree that in violence can never be end with violence however violence is never going to end just by telling that violence is morally wrong we need to offer people the tools that are as effective as conducting violence and how we conduct how, and we, we need to teach people how we can conduct non violent struggle to fight conflict it is wrongly believed that non violent struggle is equivalent to protests non violent struggle works out if works if a larger coordinated strategy is formed jean sharp a well known non violent non violent researcher has identified 198 methods of conducting or non violent struggle and protest is just one of them the other methods may be conducting public speeches this is demonstrating symbolic objects and social disobedience and others let me give you a classic example of non violent struggle in 20, 2016 the guatemala was ruled by former military uh, former military officials with ties to organized crime people were generally aware of it but people felt powerless to do anything until one group of citizens just 12 of them put out a call on social media to me uh, to meet central plaza with a message holding sign renunce or resigned already to their surprise 30000 people were 30000 people gather gathered at the central plaza and protest spread throughout the country at one point organizers levered hundreds of eggs to various government buildings with a message if you can't stop if you can't stop the corrupt political officials from running the office if you don't have the balls to run the run for corrupt if you don't have the balls to stop corrupt politicians from running the office you can borrow ours president molina responded by saying he is never going to resign and protesters understood that they can't keep protesting and asked the president to resign so they started general so they started a general strike and refused to work within 5 days in kotamala city alone about 400 businesses and schools closed their door meanwhile farmers 
shut all the major highways of the country and within 5 days president molina along with five other dozens of government officials resigned already do you know what the story of guatemala teaches us the power of society comes from people and institutions the uh, the government whether democracies or dictatorship need obedience and cooperation from these government institutions and people and in non violent struggle people choose to withdraw these uh, their cooperation and obedience and governments are left with no power to their rule let's have let's take an action worth spreading we should learn more about non violent struggle about where non violent struggles have been conducted and how can we can make it more powerful we can abandon violence as a tool of conflict just like we abandoned war bows and arrows because more effective weapons have been invented and more because more effective weapons have been invented and bows and arrows were considered obsolete the greatest hope for humanity humanity lies not in condemning violence but in making violence obsolete over to you thank you very much those master moiz ke moiz ke moiz uh, you started with with a question which is a perfect way to steal the audience's attention right away today i actually noticed a changed you i was uh, listening to your speech after a very long time and today i noticed a more composed more refined moiz you looked very very much in command of yours your facial expressions were more composed today i am really 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 impressed with your rhetoric um you talked about violence your speech was really carrying a very good message how to avoid violence you um gave a lot of examples you came up with uh, the actual instances which took place in the city and uh, through those actual instances you were trying to build an argument and you very very successfully done that um the very good thing was uh, the way you uh, aligned all those examples uh, which was very nice however as an evaluator if i you know would like to uh, comment that i mean uh, just as an evaluator i'm just mentioning this fact because Here at Toastmasters, we get to have an audience of uh, from all walks of life. So, you know, mentioning some uh, the name of uh, mentioning a political party and allegations on them in our Toastmasters meeting can probably be an idea which we can live away from to avoid offending any participant attachment. Maybe with the same discuss political and political party. However, um, since we we are all family, so I understand to just to suffice the need of your topic, you came up with this. uh you know very very nice argument so overall it was a uh, great delivered speech um your body movement was very very nice you were located in the center of the screen because now we are doing these zoom meetings so this is also very important that we are the speaker places himself or herself in the in front of the camera because if the view for the evaluator is not very proper then even then the it becomes very difficult uh, you know Uh, for 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 an evaluator to evaluate you, um, <clears throat> your your all points are very very persuasive. Um, your flow of ideas and one uh, that is one argument immediately followed up by another convincing argument lined up in queue was commendable. Your non-verbal support from gestures and postures was a zinc was exemplary. However, only if I may I may mention that the hands movement can be little worked upon. and can be cut down from being non stop to only getting involved where required because you know overall the speech was fantastic you were very very uh, composed all uh, during your speech um but the hand movement was a little con continuous though it was not looking very uh, inappropriate but uh, you know it was uh, to an extent that i as an evaluator had <laughs> uh my attention particularly gone to the hand movement because it was so continuous so probably that can be worked upon and that can be uh, only brought in use wherever there is uh you know more emphasis can be given through the hand movement uh overall i must congratulate you because you have very very successfully completed your project so congratulations on completing your project over to the general evaluator 
Thank you, Toastmaster Majed Akhtar.